Welcome back, everybody. Level M Diecast. Rolling towards the end of the week. We are going to wrap up some stuff that I had sitting around that uh, haven't had a chance to get on the channel yet. This is my latest Mini GT Editions. This is number 270. This is the uh, Mazda Miata MX-5 in classic white tuned version. This one does come in just the box. It is not blistered, um, but this is available in the U.S. This is a brand new casting for Mini GT. It's a pretty nice version, too. Um, we're going to take a look at another Miata right after this guy, but, uh, this guy's looking pretty wicked. Does have the pop-up headlights, which are pretty nice. Does have a little bit of a lowered stance to it. Uh, some deep dish wheels, some aftermarket looks pretty good. Does have some race bucket seats and a little bit of a roll cage behind the seats. Looks pretty good. See the exhaust there on the bottom. Not a huge old gigantic uh, coffee can and all that stuff. Just a little, 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 little exhaust down in there. Looking pretty good. Um, you know, lens headlights, tail lights, all that good stuff. Mini GT looking pretty good as always. Um, it's tiny. Super, super tiny. It's a really, really tiny casting. So it's, it's pretty good though. It's pretty good. I like the pop-up headlights. I think they look really, really good. I, I thought originally that this one was going to be a little weird. Uh, maybe the headlights would look too big or something. But they look very natural. Very natural. Look Very, very good. Very, very good. Next one we're going to take a look at is the regular Miata. That is number 288. The MX-5 Miata in classic red. So we'll take our tuned version off. Put on our normal regular guy. Now this guy is completely bone stock. Nothing fancy, nothing doing. Um, looks pretty good. So does have headlights down. So you get the mixture, get to see what it looks like with the headlights down. Looks pretty good. I like this one. Um, obviously not as much as the tuned version, but it's it's still pretty good. Uh, you'll notice it's just regular seats in there. There is no roll cage behind the seats. So very good attention to detail from Mini GT. Um, I like it. Now, this casting doesn't appear to have like a uh, insert or something like that that they use for pop-up or pop-down headlights. Um, I think it might be a separate casting, but, uh, we'll have to see with future releases, but this guy looks pretty good. I think you guys could agree. It's a pretty nice version. It's a pretty nice version. Um, we're going to go to a non roadster. Um, we're going to go to something that does do road courses though. This is number 312. This is the latest Mercedes Benz 190E Evolution Mercedes DTM. Uh, from Mini GT, uh, this is uh, one of the most iconic liveries, uh, in my opinion. Besides, you know, the Berlin 2000, um, I'm surprised it took them so long to make this particular version. Um, I, I figured they may have debuted with this guy, but they uh, they've released many, 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 many versions without without this guy. But he looks pretty good now. It's pretty fancy. Um, I do like the black and silver. Obviously, looks good. Got some yellow on the back window. Looks pretty good. Does have that teeny, teeny, tiny Mercedes logo right there in the front on the hood. You got to be super careful when you when you manhandle this thing. You don't want to break it or anything like that. And then it has tiny, tiny side mirrors. Uh, some of the smallest, smallest mirrors you've ever seen. Just ridiculous. Uh, this guy does have a roll cage inside too. Pretty good details. Pretty good details. Um, I absolutely love this casting. Definitely one of my favorites from Mini GT for sure. Uh, definitely not my favorite. You guys know it's the Bentley, but there's no Bentleys in this mix, so we won't have any Bentleys to show. Uh, next one that we're going to show is super, super, super common piece. Uh, the model, I mean. Uh, number 299. Yep, another Liberty Walk GTR R35 for sure. Um, there's, just, there's just a billion of them. There's still more coming. Uh, this guy is in dark blue with black hood and black top. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. I mean, it's, you know, we've had this particular casting a lot. Um, we've had this um, body kit and stuff on it as well. So nothing, nothing fancy there. But, uh, you know, just a new new paint job, which, you know, it's all good. We'll take a new paint job. We'll take a new paint job. Not the, not the best, um, but black and blue definitely does look good. It's pretty good. Um, 
The next Liberty Walk that's coming out is that black and red two-tone. It's kind of a silhouette uh, type of, um, you know, nod, I guess you could say, or a tribute. Um, it's not a, it's not the silhouette, but it's a pretty nice version, so we'll check that out. Uh, another casting that we've gotten a bajillions of, just absolute bajillions of, uh, number 296. This is the LB Works GR Supra in the Martini knockoff. It is not Martini, but it is decoed up. Um, I'm, I'm totally wrong. That is a hundred. It is actually Martini. Uh, I thought it was a thought it was a knockoff. I didn't realize the Martini logo right there on the hood. My apologies. I apologize. I'm very very sorry about that. Um, this is pretty good. It's actually made this a little bit more, a little bit more enjoyable now that it's uh, that I know it's actual uh, real life Martini. Looks pretty good. Does have Martini on the wing as well. This wheel looks so good on this casting. It just does. It just does. Looks super good. Number 26. Not sure if 26 has any significance to anything, but uh, it's just another Supra. Just another Supra. It's a good one. It's a good one. Uh, but just another Supra. Just another Supra. Um, this one is a pretty nice uh, addition to the NSX lineup. Number 302. Acura NSX Evo uh, GT3. This is the newest IMSA version. Um, I've actually seen the chase piece of this. It's actually pretty sweet. Um, I don't have the chase piece because I don't I don't chase any of the chase pieces outside of Porsche or Bentley. Um, but all the white you see is Zamic, and then it still has all the same printing. It looks pretty good, actually, the chase piece does. Uh, but this guy looks really good on his own. Um... I think this is definitely one of the better GT3 versions they've done, uh, which would make sense because it's the most current. I think Tampos look pretty good. Obviously, this is based on some real-life Deco, uh, Magnus, um, Archangel. Looks pretty good. Do like the M on the hood. Looks good. Got the Acura banner in there on the windshield. Looks pretty good. Got yellow tint headlights on the front, which is fantastic. Just a really, really, really good casting. Really good casting. Now, Although this guy was branded IMSA, um, he was priced just like every other Mini GT. Um, however, there will be some other IMSAs that are just not priced that way, like the C8. Um, C8 tends to be a little bit more expensive, uh, unfortunately. But uh, you know, we'll just we'll deal with it. Now, another race car. This is number two ninety seven. This is the latest Ford GT. Uh, Mark II, number 006, with your um, you know, tribute-type livery on the side of that. And Shadow Black looks pretty good. Um, this is one of the most ridiculous castings that Mini GT makes. It's just such a just absolute bonkers casting. It's just so good. They did such a good job on this GT. Uh, and this one is definitely uh, no different. It is just as good, if not better, than every other one they've done thus far. Um, the diffuser on the back is just out of control. Um, it's just a really, really, really good version. I like the print on the side of the wing. This model just has print all over. It looks fantastic. Such a good casting. They just did a really, really good job with this casting. Just a, just a ridiculously good job. Ridiculously good job. Just, oh man. Can't even say that much stuff about it because it's just so awesome. Um, we got one more. Uh, rolling on to the last one because, you know, we're just rolling through these. We're just rolling through our mini GTs. Uh, number 289. This is the latest Porsche Taken Turbo S in red. And, yes, I do have the chase. But, no, I am not going to open the chase because I just I don't open my chases. Open everything else but not the chases. Uh, so, here it is in its beautiful red glory. Full on Porsche because you know Porsche. Uh, this guy looks wicked in the red. Really like the red color match uh, side mirrors and all that good stuff. Looks good. Such a good car. I like big four door cars and this is a relatively large four door car. It's not huge, not full size, but it's 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 big. Um, if I had to have an electric car, if I was forced at some point in my time in my life, uh, this would be the one I want. Not saying I could afford this one. This would just be the one that I want. Uh, and it looks uh, absolutely impressive as a Mini GT model. So, there you go. Not a huge selection. Uh, what is that? Two, four, six, eight models. So, eight models round out. 
Um, I am still working on trying to fill in a couple holes. I should have a haul of Mini GT coming very soon. So I do expect to see more Mini GT on the channel. If you guys liked any of those models, let me know. Um, I love all of them, but obviously the Porsche is the best. Um, and that Miata is pretty sweet. The Miata is pretty sweet. So anyways, we're going to roll out. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys, every one of you. Support the channel. Hit subscribe if you want to. Uh, and we're going to move on to the next video. So we'll catch you later. Level and Diecast. Peace.